वेलकम टू इनर्ट केमिस्ट्री इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट एन इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक यूरिया साइकिल दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्राम पेपर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिफोर डिस्कसिंग यूरिया साइकिल इन डिटेल फर्स्ट वी क्विकली रिवाइज सम प्रीवियस कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू अमाइनो एसिड मेटाबोलिज्म एज वी सीन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज डैट the amino acid metabolism consists of different steps the first step is transamination during transamination the amino group from an amino acid is transferred to keto acid as a result of the transfer of amino group from amino acid to keto acid an other amino acid is formed this other amino acid glue is mostly glutamate this glutamate act as a collecting center of amino group from various amino acids and it is the only amino acid that can undergo oxidative deamination in liver so the second step is deamination during deamination this glutamate get break broken down into alpha ketoglutarate and free ammonium ion by the help of enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase this ammonia formed is highly toxic so it is radially converted it into less toxic forms for instance this for instance this ammonium ion combined with glutamate and convert to glutamine by the help of enzyme glutamine synthesis and glutamine is then transported via blood and reaches to the liver in liver it again broken down into ammonium ion and glutamate and in liver this ammonium ion is now incorporated it into urea via urea cycle so in this video we mainly focus on urea production or we see that how the ammonia is incorporated it into urea urea cycle also called as krebs henslet cycle why it is called as krebs henslet cycle because it is a cyclic process and it was first discovered by hans krebs and kurt henslet in 1932 it's also known as ornithine cycle ornithine is one of the intermediates of tca cycle if we talk about the site of synthesis the urea cycle occurs in liver it mainly consists of five reactions and five enzymes are involved in this cycle and if we see the enzyme location then the two enzymes are present in mitochondria while the remaining three enzymes are present in cytosol so let begin the urea cycle in detail the first step of urea cycle is the synthesis of carbamyl phosphate this first step of urea cycle is controlled or catalyzed by the enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 in this step the carbon dioxide and ammonia they will combine together and form carbamyl phosphate the enzyme involved in this step is called carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 and two atp molecules are used in this process two atp molecules are converted it converted to adp and inorganic phosphate this reaction is irreversible and it is the rate limiting step of urea cycle this step is allosterically regulated and 
as you see that this carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 that in short is called SPS1 is mainly dependent on N-acetylglutamate for its activity. So N-acetylglutamate allosterically regulate this enzyme. In the second step is the synthesis of citrulline. For the synthesis of citrulline, ornithine is needed. But ornithine is present outside the mitochondria in cytosol. So first of all, ornithine has to be carried into the, into the mitochondria via the protein that is called as by a protein that is called ornithine citrulline transporter. Through ornithine citrulline transporter that is present in mitochondrial membrane, the ornithine enters into mitochondria. And then as the ornithine enters into mitochondria, the carbamyl group of carbamyl phosphate is transferred to ornithine and it gets converted into citrulline. This reaction is catalyzed by ornithine trans carbamylase, an enzyme that is present in mitochondria. When the citrulline get is formed in the mitochondria, then the remaining steps occur in cytosol. So citrulline then has to be transported to cytosol. So it again passes through ornithine citrulline transporter and reaches to the cytosol. The remaining step of urea cycle occurs in the cytosol. Once the citrulline re-enters, citrulline enters it into cytosol, the third step of urea cycle begins that is the synthesis of arginosuccinate. Citrulline combines with an amino acid aspartate and result in the formation of arginosuccinate. This step is catalyzed by arginosuccinate synthase enzyme and as you see that ATP is converted it into AMP and pyrophosphate. This pyrophosphate then further broken down into two molecules of inorganic phosphate. As you see that the two high energy bonds of ATP are broken down. So it is assumed that or we can say that two molecules of ATP are used for the conversion of citrulline to arginosuccinate. The fourth, the fourth one or the fourth step of urea cycle is the cleavage of arginosuccinate. This arginosuccinate get cleaved or broken down and form arginine and fumarate. This step is catalyzed by the enzyme arginosuccinase and as a result of this cleavage arginine and fumarate is formed. This fumarate, uh, this fumarate links the urea cycle to TCA cycle that was discussed in later video. Uh, now we, uh, uh, then after the formation of arginine, uh, the final step or the fifth step is the cleavage of arginine to form ornithine and urea. Then this arginine is broken down or cleaved to re-synthesize ornithine and form urea. This step is catalyzed by an important enzyme that is arginase. So finally, in the urea cycle, urea is formed. The urea, the conversion of arginine to ornithine is catalyzed by arginase enzyme. This arginase enzyme is primarily present in liver and absent in kidney and intestine. Although arginine is formed in kidney and intestine, but it is not converted it into urea and ornithine because of the absence of arginase enzyme. This arginase enzyme is primarily present in liver. 
uh, this urea formed uh, during the urea cycle uh, may reaches to blood and then kidneys filter this and excrete the urea through urine or it may go to small intestine in small intestine bacterial due to bacterial action it may broken down into a free ammonium ion and these free ammonium ions get released from the body through feces so here we see the five different steps of urea cycle uh, now we briefly discuss the significance of urea cycle the first important significance of urea cycle is that it detoxify the ammonia ammonia is highly toxic so it should be radially converted into urea and then excreted from the body so this happens through urea cycle the second significance is that it not only it not only dispose of ammonia it also dispose the bicarbonates bicarbonates are present in your blood and the carbon dioxide used in urea cycle is derived from bicarbonates this urea cycle regulates the blood ph by regulating the amount of carbon dioxide or bicarbonates in the blood biosynthesis of arginine as you see in the previous slide that arginine is one of the intermediates of urea cycle so this arginine formed during the urea cycle then used for the synthesis of many important compounds like creatine and nitric oxides ornithine the ornithine formed during the urea cycle is the precursor of polyamines and proline this is about the urea cycle and its significance in the next videos we will discuss about the energetics of urea cycle its link to tca cycle and other important concepts about the urea cycle like regulation of urea cycle kindly watch the video like share and subscribe